Hey everybody, I'm Michael Miller. I am the Opioid Initiatives Coordinator with Jefferson County Public Health. Howdy, I'm Michael Ford, HIV Prevention and Harm Reduction Specialist with Jefferson County Public Health. In 2017, we had at least 90 overdoses in the county. As more people are being affected by opiate overdose, Jefferson County Public Health is taking more initiatives to save lives. One of those initiatives, which we're here to talk to you about today, is overdose reversal through the administration of naloxone, or as it's known by its brand name, Narcan. Naloxone is an opioid antagonist that temporarily reverses an opioid overdose. It can be administered through a nasal spray or through an injection. It's safe, it's easy to use, and it has few side effects. But before we teach you about how to actually administer naloxone, there's some general terms and concepts we need to understand first. Simply put, opioid overdose is taking more illicit or prescribed opioids than the body can cope with. It occurs when too many opioids attach to receptors in the brain, causing breathing to slow to the point where it is not adequate enough to sustain life. Without oxygen, the person experiencing overdose will go unconscious and ultimately their heart will stop beating. So some common signs of an overdose include non-responsiveness, heavy nodding, slow or irregular breaths, or no breathing at all. Other symptoms can include like a gurgling sound, slow, erratic, or a stopped pulse. Um, or the bluing of like fingertips or lips. If you suspect someone is having an opioid overdose, there are a few steps that you can take to keep that person alive. This is Veronica. She is a program coordinator with AmeriCorps' Opioid Response Program. She's gonna be helping us demonstrate what an opioid overdose actually looks like. If you're around someone you suspect is having an overdose, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is see if they actually respond. Now, one of the best ways to do this is to use your knuckles and rub on their sternum right in the middle of their chest pretty hard. Don't be worried about hurting them. You want them to actually feel it and wake up if they can. You can also do that on their upper lip with your knuckles just like this. If they don't respond to that, call out their name, see if that works, oftentimes saying, hey, I'm gonna call 911 really loud, we'll wake somebody up. If that doesn't work, we suspect they're having an overdose, you're gonna to wanna to call 911 first thing and then we'll lay them on their back, which we'll demonstrate here in a second. If a person is unable to respond, please call 911 as soon as possible. Colorado's Good Samaritan law protects people from legal liability if they act in an emergency situation to give aid to a person who is in a life-threatening emergency. The law encourages people to offer emergency aid without fear of being prosecuted for legal liability or drug paraphernalia or possession. After you call 911, put the person flat on their back. Make sure that their airway is clear of any blockages, tilt their head back to open up their airway, pinch their nose, make a seal of your mouth over their mouth, and give rescue breaths. Watch for the person's chest to rise to ensure that they are receiving oxygen. Give rescue breaths every five seconds. Once you start rescue breathing, you will need to administer naloxone. Multiple doses of Narcan may be needed to reverse the overdose. To administer the nasal spray, remove the product from the box, insert the spray inside the nostril as far as possible, and press the middle button until completely pushed in, then remove from the nostril. Once Narcan has been administered, continue providing rescue breathing. If the individual has still not been responsive after two to three minutes, provide a second dose of naloxone in the opposite nostril and resume rescue breathing until first responders arrive. Oh hey, thanks for saving my life! Naloxone has a standing order in the state of Colorado, which means people don't need to go to a doctor to get a prescription in order to get access to it. You can simply go to a pharmacy and grab some naloxone. The Points West Syringe Access Program at Jefferson County Public Health provides free access to naloxone for people who might be at risk of overdose, as well as many other harm reduction materials. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to Jefferson County to get support. Jefferson County Public Health is dedicated to harm reduction, meaning they will not judge you or try to pressure you into acting a certain way. They simply want to give you the proper resources to stay safe. Opioid overdose is 100% preventable. And in fact, most people that end up reversing overdoses know the people that are overdosing or passing by them on the street. So you have the power to save a life, and thank you for taking the time with us today to learn how you could make that happen. 